Greetings and peace. What's going on, y'all? I just wanted to come to you again with another video. This is going to be about the food meeting. The lovers. So the fool is on his journey, and we've gone from the beginning of the fool's journey in the tarot, and we're all the way at number six now, and that has to do with the lover's card. So I am going to thank the ancestors for being here. Thank you so much. You all know how important that is for these videos. That's what I'm doing this for. It's not for my own stuff. Anyway, we have the lover's card. The theme of that is harmony harmony two people blessings from the heavens so to speak higher consciousness higher two people coming together with the energy of a higher knowing that is their blessing them so this card does symbolize like deep spiritual connection it also signifies a type of partnership and even unions. For some people, it's not romantic at all. It's not having to do with, per se, love or a love affair or anything like that that has to do with romance and stuff. But instead, different types of relationships, as in business, uh, personal relationships, and partnerships are a very delicate thing. But all of them, you know, they have their own place. But there will be one-on-one -on -one a lot of times. But other times you may find that this lovers, the lovers card signifies coming together to a group, um, getting a new pet. Um, sometimes it could be a child or an incident that's very important or a very big event uh, that has to do with something that's love-oriented, passion-oriented something that you need to connect with and harmonize with so then you have to see here with this card it has to do with choices like several choices more than one choice a lot of times and it's asking you to look at the authenticity of the other thing that you're looking at even if it is yourself how authentic is it you know how much are you loving it because everything is a mirror of ourselves. <laughs> the lover's card reminds you that what you're looking at is a mirror of you. So if there's something that you seek, you have to come with it first, embody it first. It'll automatically be blessed because like attracts like. Now, the other thing it is could be um, what you need to see is what is going to be seen in the other person or in yourself. You, you're going to see it. And can make a decision based on what you see or not that is always something that's in our control is having that what are you learning why are you how are you going to grow a lot of times you can't see that but with the lover's card how can you make a relationship stronger how can you make yourself stronger so the relationship can possibly grow stronger what are you learning about yourself when you're interacting with this partner or this other half? So again, harmony has to do with the energy of the lovers. And the other thing about it that you can definitely bet is that when you feel the energy of the lover's card, you'll feel like you're in bliss and, and um, just a beautiful place, the most beautiful paradise. That's the energy of it. An angel is over the whole thing here, which is looking down. And it is not going to stop either of them from making any sort of choices, but it's there just to be witness to it. That's about it. You have to make your own choice. That's why the eyes of the two people are open and the angel's eyes are closed. Spirit, your spirit guides, you know, they are there for assistance, but they can only intervene as we ask as we um, declare or request them to be. The tree of illumination is behind them. So they're seeing things from coming together, joining something. And 
that question is, do you like what you see? There's a deep longing for something that has come along for one person. For the other, they may feel like they aren't ready for this union event. They may not be ready for pairing up with anything. The last thing I want to talk about is infatuation and true love. That energy also, um, when you're dealing with the lover's card, you really have to check what you call love. So is it um, someone who is stalking you or is it someone who really can, they really know who you are? Is it somebody else who thinks they know who you are and they're going after who they think you are? Or is it someone who really knows you are? like to the core the other thing about the lovers is they want to they want to know each other close they want to come together they want to know each other that's why the peak is here there is a, a wanting to come together so for some people this could be um, a significator of wanting to come together and be more of a whole one being of yourself you may have learned how to do that better harmonize the different parts of you into one and you're even more beautiful to look at on the outside for the world and that's a blessing anyway that was the lover's card besides here's my other notes let me read those we've got finding balance um something that seems to complete you is the lover's card also something that completes you this is about one person and whomever has the passion of love and experience it can be a person or an endeavor also or a goal this lover's card is about the feeling inside that allows you to know something with absolute certainty okay and the instinctual drive that we create within ourselves especially when we find something that we connect with and feel harmony with or a resonance with mysterious desires is also the lovers could be that as well and falling in love with someone it can be finding a your a new pet you know something that you just connect with and you feel really connected to via your heart all right y'all this is the reading i'm gonna go ahead and do the next one see you in the next video and definitely check out the playlist to listen to the rest of the readings and the beginning of the the fool's journey if you don't want to listen to all the cards individually i did talk about each one just in one video all right peace thanks i just want to be as thorough as possible and of course as i was usually saying your host is me queen sarita website is naturallyhighlight.com on instagram i'm queen sarita and i am so happy to be here to connect with you all and this is so helpful for all of us i mean yeah i'll talk to you later